friends we made it to the spot for the night we are like 10 minutes away from Horseshoe Bend I'm going to make some quick dinner go to bed and we're gonna try to head to Horseshoe Bend probably for sunrise and from there we have no many plans so it's a surprise for you and for us We've made it to Horseshoe Bend. This is in Page, Arizona, and holy smokes, this place is even better than in the pictures. So actually Horseshoe Bend was on our list for a while, and we drove all the way here to be able to do these Antelope Canyon and Monument Valley and Antelope Canyon and Monument Valley are closed because of coronavirus I think to get to Antelope Canyon you can take a kayak trip, but it will be like $400 for both of us We would prefer to just like wait until Coronavirus is over or we can come to the park and Monument Valley We actually are planning to drive through it. So that's the only way that you can check it out this time it's still morning. Good morning, babe. Good morning. We just had some coffee in the van, warm up, and we're coming back to check it out because why not? The lens is pretty nasty. <laughs> Baby, there's only five people. <laughs> five people in here. I think we came at the perfect time. The second go around, yeah. For the sake of full transparency, sunrise this morning was Hey, the sun came up, so it's a good day. <laughs> now, it's in its full effect out here. As you can see, I'm carrying it with us. Yeah, we, we decided to do breakfast and then come back out here, and I think that was a good call. There are significantly fewer people. We've got the wide angle lens on now. I decided not to bring it earlier today, and wow, big mistake. So we're, uh, we're getting our extra steps in for the day. Isn't that right, baby? Going for 8,000 today, baby! Or more. Yeah, we'll probably have seven or 8,000 by the time we get back up to the van. Horseshoe Bend. It's $10 to enter. The Parks Pass does not work, just in case you were curious, even though it is, I think, part of the Parks Network. But it's operated by the city of Page, Arizona. Beautiful. I recommend it. 10 out of 10. Yeah. It's, uh, it's got the 10 out of 10 Marose score. But it's your score. It's nice. <laughs> but uh, out of 10. It's, it's really nice. I would come here again. I'd pay the 10 bucks again. Okay. It's pretty breathtaking. Uh, sunsets, likely way better than sunrises, but friends, we're not going to be around here for a sunset. No, we have some driving to do, but I think sunset will be beautiful. Yeah. The only thing is maybe there's more people around. Oh, I'd imagine. People aren't morning people. We already noticed that. We were like walking by people. Hey, good morning. And they're like. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Well, I'm happy we came the second time because there was five people when we were there and there was a moment that it was the two of us, nobody else. What a great time. 
Wow! I think I'm becoming a morning person just to enjoy these places with no many people around us. Where are we going? Monument Valley? Let's go. But groceries first. Oh. <laughs> like with Monument Valley in particular, uh, that's one that I've wanted to see. It's not been on my list because it's I don't have a list. list. I don't have totally a list. Has a bucket list. I don't have a list, but it's one that I've wanted to see. From um, my bucket list. <laughs> from Rose's no. self perceived bucket list. For you, yeah. We're like 90 miles away from it here, and it's early enough. I guess that's what we're doing after groceries. Woo! Woo! Groceries! You might see right behind me, we are in Monument Valley. And sadly for both of us, we only can drive past through it. We went from a drive from Arizona and now we're in Utah. It's our first time in Utah, but we're turning around and going back to Arizona, baby. <laughs> be twisting my pinky toe well we are at a lake up in the mountains which in arizona frozen, and it's frozen which feels like we are in another state i i honestly i thought that i died i crashed somewhere and don't remember it and woke up in heaven this place might be aside from the roads the most beautiful place i've ever been it's unbelievable it's like high desert it's arizona there's lakes and just it's yeah it's good you just got to see it The only downside to all of this beautifulness is the road. It's pure mud. And of course, true fashion of us started raining. And it looked like it's snow. But it kind of stopped now. I don't know. I'm afraid. We check online, but we don't have any service also. So we don't know like if it's accurate that it's going to be snowing or raining or anything. So, fingers crossed that we have a good night here and we get to enjoy this beautiful place and it doesn't get too cold and it doesn't snow or rain. Can I hear an amen? Church. 
Hey, Ben! Church! <laughs> Are you having fun, babe? Yeah, this yeah. is cool. This is a cool spot, huh? Yeah, it is. It's beautiful. I mean, flip flops, please. I'm not prepared for this, no. <laughs> I'm wearing sandals and socks. And someone I know make me cross the road I didn't want. Look at the amount of mud I have in my sandal now. You've been off roading, babe. Off roading Birkenstocks. Woo! Who's gonna clean them? You? No. Good morning, all you cool cats and kittens. We're up. It's cold. It's like 20 something degrees outside. It's nice and warm in here. What, 70? And uh, we decide that we're leaving early so uh, we can navigate the uh, muddy way out and try not to get stuck. Um, from here, we're going to be driving a little further south to the Petrified Forest. Have you been to the Petrified Forest? We're two and a half hours away. Uh, Petrified Forest was, it was our first large stop in the school bus, but the government was shut down and dinguses were knocking over trees in Joshua Tree Park. So the park service decided that it was probably the smartest idea to keep the dinguses out by closing all the national parks. So we didn't get to go last time. We did get to take a picture out in front of the, the sign, but uh, we're hoping that we can take a picture inside the park this time around. So and that's the plan. Let's go. So Chase convinced me today <laughs> that we needed to that we needed to leave without eating. And you know me, I get hungry. And I Google Dunkin' Donuts, nothing. And then I Google Starbucks, and it looked like there was a Starbucks. So we decided to follow the GPS in this wonky road. It's taking us down an unmaintained road on Navajo <laughs> Nation. And it's just like a dirt road. And then Chase is like, let me see in satellite. <laughs> she doesn't keep the satellite on her map. So this is what we saw. Let me see your phone. Someone put a freaking Starbucks in the middle of the way. It's, got, it's got one five-star review on Yelp. I totally believed in. First Starbucks in the rest. How convenient. Located in the Bashas grocery store. My experience was great. It's in Bashas. Why did they mark it right here? I know where the Bashas is. Let's go. It's the saddest thing ever. We made it. It was under the road. Someone marked it in the wrong place. Yeah. <laughs> but a review said it was in the Bashas grocery so, store. Yeah. And we were like two minutes from there. So, so we might as well check. Cheers. Cheers. The dogs are like, give it to me, give it to me. All right, let's go. Let's go. Friends, we have made it to Petrify Forest. This trip has been on the making since 2018, I think, right? Mm -hmm. And finally, we are here. It's our first time together. Well, even it's our first time in general. And we are super excited to explore. I don't think it's as busy. Well, at least the part that we are. So let's go and check it out. desert and we drove through like I guess painted desert Navajo land and it was large and spectacular and the colors are just incredible. unbelievable yeah I wish the camera is picking every single color is in there
So far what we found is that many of the sites in Petrified Forest are closed to foot traffic, which I understand there's a problem with people stealing the wood. Then there are other places where there have been clearly defined oh paths and then they've blocked it saying, you know, no foot traffic well, this way either. there's a jeep up there. Maybe we can drive up there. Yeah, maybe. We're just gonna keep going and see if we can find our way over to some wood. Truthfully, it's stunning. Like this has been one of my favorite parts in the park, but the wind is making this zero enjoyable. So we're gonna head back to the van and drive through the rest of the park. out here but uh, I think this this along with Blue Mesa has been so far the coolest part of this park I know I said a joke when we were at Garden of the Gods in southern Illinois that one that uh, geology rocks well friends wood rocks literally wood rocks This is a big tree. That's, that's huge. It's up to my shoulders, laying down. Wow! It's a little less windy where I am right now, which means that it's significantly more enjoyable. I'm just in, in astonishment at all the trees that have been stoned. Hey. Guess what? It's snowing quite a bit. Oh wow. Oh. What are you barking at me? It's your mother. Yeah, it's not oh. What if we get snowed in? <laughs> 